So for the 2020-2021 season, there's nine teams, with one of those teams being outside Australia in New Zealand. For the 2021-22 season, there's gonna be 10 teams, one of those teams being in New Zealand, the other one's gonna be in Tasmania. In 2020, the NBL reduced the number of import players from three to two. In the NBL, there's a salary cap set at 1.3 million US dollars. Now that includes most of the players' budgets, but there are players such as the marquee players or import players that have most of their budget outside of that salary cap. This is so that they can keep getting higher level talent in their league. The max contract length is three years. Okay, let's jump over to the average salaries. Local Aussies make on average 106,000 US dollars per season. And the import players make anywhere between 120 and 250,000 US dollars per season. Over the past several years, the NBL has been competing with the NBA on getting elite young talent straight out of high school. What's known about the NBL is that it's an up and coming league. With the new president and new management, this league is, is growing and it's growing significantly. And it's grown so much that it's starting to get the attention of the NBA and the NBA G League to where they have to start implementing programs to keep their young players like LaMelo Ball in the US developing under their programs. If you're 18, 19 years old and you're trying to find a place outside the NCAA, you don't want to do school, you're over homework, then Australia NBL is a great place to get started. The Next Stars Initiative, the same thing that LaMelo Ball did, started in the 2018-2019 season. Designed to provide young elite overseas players, mainly Americans who are currently barred from the NBA draft until one year out of secondary school, as well as Australians and New Zealanders considering US college basketball. Salaries, like we talked about, in the 100,000, 200,000 range, it's very relative to American lifestyle. So the transition for a player from the US to Australia back to the US is very easy and very seamless. Salaries are good, expenses are paid for, beaches are nice, food is great, why not? Sign me up.